Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In last video, I show how to use the 3D printer to make a picking place machine. Um, I also show how to make, uh, make it possible to change the nozzle head automatically. Um, yesterday, when I'm trying to um, calibrate the component feeders, um, then I suddenly hear this uh, big noise from this one from the air pump and then um, I cannot control the air pump to stop anymore so then I start looking for uh, the reason and so you can see here is the voltage and I need to measure here so let me let me try that out so you can see the voltage is 24 constantly um, from the starting then um, actually I look into the, the board so as you can see this is the main board of um, the 3D printer and as I mentioned uh, um, the fan output is always 24 volt and here actually there is a, um, a fan wire um, as I can see it's a marking as the the fan fan zero here. F F zero here. Um, so I know that uh, um, it's a 24, 24 volt on this. Yeah, it's actually twenty four volt on this one. Yeah, as you can see, twenty four volt. Um, then the actually the connection is um, from the negative the negative actually is the control pin so I just need to measure if they are connected so I just um, turn off that and then I switch to um, to the resistor resistance measurement so this is the negative um, control wire and here is the negative pin so okay maybe it's easier to just remove those ones so um, you can see here this is the as I said the control the control pin is from here um yes and then um there is a uh, yeah there is a mosfet here this one which is uh, controlling the fan um so i can see that it's um, directly connect to this pin and then this is the drain and then um, this is basically the source and you can see it's um, even without the power is supposed to be uh, off but now it's actually like um, yeah only 40 43 ohm and this is basically the control pin this is the gate and this is the control pin and actually by measuring it i can see that it's here so it's one kilo one kilo ohm yeah it's a one kilo ohm so um to this one and then uh there should be a, um, a resistor that is actually connect to that um so i'm wondering i think it's this one Fifty? No, not this one. Yeah, it should be this one. So you can see this two is connected, and this, this pin, this resistor must be connected to this one. Yes. So the circuit is basically from this one, 
from the Atomega. This is the Atomega 8-bit uh, MCU. So yeah, this is the first pin. And here it's actually the, um, the PB4, uh, as stated in the data sheet. So it's actually from this pin to this one kilo ohm resistor and then connect to the MOSFET. And this is the uh, in-channel MOSFET. So that basically means we have a positive uh, voltage in this one. Then those will, um, will connect. And then um, basically depend on the voltage, then there will be um, uh, different currents going through this one. And then therefore we can actually control the, the fan. Um, but you can see this one is um, um, pretty pretty small, so it cannot um, withstand like um, larger uh, uh, current. Um, what I did um, yesterday is basically when I trying to calibrate the feeder, I um, actually um, have the component on, and then I had the air pump always on, and I actually adjusted the air pump voltage um, to be little bit higher with this M106 command. Um, yeah, therefore um, it has a higher current and then uh, after a while it actually break. But the lucky thing is that um, for this PB4, for this pin, control pin itself, it's uh, still able to um, be control output different current. It's only this one is broken. So um, what I need to do um, next is that I need to order one of this um, uh, one of this uh, MOSFET, and then um, I can maybe need to order a little bit um, a bigger current support, and also maybe higher voltage um, with then higher voltage. Therefore, it will be um, better to let's say support this operation to the to the air pump um, I do think about I do thought about the um, to control with um, with the other one for example like this one this one is controlling the heat bat um, but uh, of course you, you can see um, they have they have a much bigger um, MOSFET here and they can support higher voltage I think this one is supporting 60 volt and also the higher um, current and but of course um, with the implementation of this one um, i also know that it's from uh, the other pin it's from this pin actually um, controlling the oh, this yeah it's also one kilo ohm you can see it's controlling this one to the heat bed um, but the problem is um, this is implemented as a protected pin in the software. Um, therefore, when we try to use the M42 command to control this one, control this pin voltage, and um, it is not able to control. So, um, it, and then with the, um, uh, because it's a heat bed and, and there is also a G code to control the heat bed, but the problem is whenever you set the certain temperature for the uh, heat bed, then it's just uh, either enable 24 volt or disable it. And the air pump I have is um, 12 volt um, air pump. Therefore, I, yeah, um, I, I, of course I can supply 24 uh, volt to it, but I, I think it's better to just um, supply the uh, voltage that is that it designed for. To make sure I can just replace this one, I need to also make sure that um, uh, the control pin is still okay. So uh, what I want, what I can do is basically I can start, I can start the machine here, and then I can also um, fire up the software. As you can see here, I fire up the open PMP software now. And then I need to um, control the the fan speed from the command. This is a basic. There is a basically one G code command M one hundred six that can control that. So I just go to um, this uh, open PMP G code console. Um, before I switch on the uh, fan control, I just I can just check the voltage now. Um, so yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so I switch to voltage like 20 volt and then I just check here and this is this pin so you can see the voltage is 
yeah it's like a no voltage zero voltage and then i need to um, i can then um, use the, the software to set the voltage and then i can measure again i can i can then use the g code to set the voltage of the fan and then i can actually measure again so um, let me see m106 then you can say s um, here um, it's quite hard to slow it down yeah. okay you can see here I have put in the M106 with the S command and then I say S80. Um, I just switch to S80 and then I will measure um, measure the, um, the voltage. So let me first set it. Now you can see the set is done. And now let me switch to here. And then again the same story. I measure this one to the ground, and then here you can see there's already voltage 1.54. And if I say I switch it to 128, so oh okay. So now you can see then the voltage should be a bit higher now, 2.45. Yeah. So basically, the control pin here is still okay. It's only that here, um, this one, it's not able to. You see, it's only 0.14, and um, yeah, basically this, all the all the voltage has been taken by the resistor, and this one has been broken. Okay, then yeah, I will start ordering the process of ordering this one, and then hopefully I get it fixed. Uh, by the way, if we if I want to buy a new one of this board, it costs about thirty euros. So yeah, let's see. Before I spend thirty euro, I would like to spend a couple a couple of euro just to get this one. Um, yeah, get this one through. Then I can has then I can continue have fun with my pick and place machine. Okay, then thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, I'll keep you posted. If you like my video, please uh, subscribe and uh, then you will know the latest of my updates. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.